uh, I feel like I said something like, oh, it doesn't matter, or no, that's the right like level to put the controller, or it assembled itself, so it must be right. So I looked at the wiki. Fortunately, there is a wiki for this pack. <laughs> and uh, they, they disagree with uh, what I said. Um, pretty sure that... No, no, no. It has to be like this. And this. Okay, so what I originally wanted to do was put 16 and 32. There. Instantly works. Now it's a very slow arrow, but we will slowly make some steel. But yeah, like three minutes. So what are we gonna do in three minutes? I don't know. <laughs> extra things away. We're not going to solve my inventory issues in three minutes. That's for sure. Um, keep that ice cream there as a backup. Okay. Uh, this is still doing its thing. Still working here. We could probably... There's probably stuff in here that we could have. Like this crushed redstone ore. I'll put in this bottom macerator. Keep it going. Uh, this whole situation is idle right now. We're not smelting anything. We could be smelting like this uh, crushed uh, shell copperite ore. It's not... I think I'm going to hold off though. Like, we have a lot... Well, we have some copper and some metals. And I think what I want to do is I want to be cautious of like over processing things until, you know, I mean, we're, we're going to have to process stuff and like move on to have resources to be able to build stuff. But anything that we don't process that might be more efficiently processed later is to the benefit later. Um, so let's look at the quest book. Is there anything we can do quest wise while we're waiting? Um, extracting stuff? Uh, I feel like is an important thing. So the steam extractor is a thing we can make. Oh look, we already bookmarked it once. <laughs> uh, so we need the bronze hole, a piston, glass, small fluid, uh, small brass pipes like these. So we need some, uh, or bronze, not brass. Probably need a good amount a bronze and a piston. Um, yeah, so we made the compressor previously. The extractor is kind of the, not the opposite, but it is another thing that, of course, a lot of these machines have multiple levels, right? So like if we hit U on this and go to like its recipes, there we go, extractor. So there's steam, high pressure, um, basic, which is low voltage, medium voltage, high voltage, on and on and on and on. <laughs> All the way to uh, a 9-in-1 nine, uh, nine multi-block GT++ thing thingy. Anyway, nothing we're going to do right now. So for this, uh, we need some things. We also need some glass. Fortunately, we have glass. Uh, I feel like we got that from a loot bag or something. Let's make uh, the pipes. So we need bronze plates. That's easy enough to do. So six gets us what we need there. We're going to need more. I feel like we're going to need eight more. Uh, oh. Worth commenting on. I did make a diamond hammer uh, since the last stream because I get tired of remaking hammers. This should last a little bit longer. It's got 128,000 durability versus like these bronze tools that have like a tenth of that. So it was worth, you know, six diamonds, in my opinion, just to avoid a little of the churn. So we go from 83, still 83. Oh, and we made steel. <laughs> it's interesting that the quest like acknowledged that even though we hadn't gotten to pick it up. So that's how long it takes to make one piece of steel right now. Yeah. 
So maybe, uh, the math on that. I think we'll have enough time on the stream today to complete the eight steel we need to uh, just imagine all the pollution that we're making uh, for the quest. All right, steam extractor is what we're doing right now though. So for that, we need those pipes. So we're gonna make six, which means we're not gonna use the two that I picked up, but hey, you know, whatever. Uh, and then, so we need the bronze hull. There we go, that's why we needed more plates. And then, bam, we did it. It's unsafe, the amount of fireworks, <laughs> but it's fine. Um, so this is where we're like running out of space for stuff. Also, these these are not. These will be good, just can't be here. All right, uh, so I guess technically, so we can stand on this because it's a wooden pipe. It just has water in it, safe to stand on. There's no vent here. Hey, Foxy, welcome back. Um, what's behind this block? Nothing, good. All right, I'll put the extractor right here. I think we'll be able to get by. Okay, so this machine's not active, so I can stand on it. I just need to not touch this pipe. <laughs> Uh, there we go. Wrench. There we go. So we can connect that up. And we want to have a vent somewhere. There we go. So the, all the steam machines need to have a steam vent where the, you know, after the steam does its work, it gets released. All right, so here's the steam extractor. This will be useful for making rubber, I believe, and maybe some other things. And we get some coins and loot bags. Which are also good, also good. Um, okay, and there's a side quest here to make mud balls. Uh... Have I seen any mud? I think I've seen some mud in some of my off-stream exploration. Let's turn that music down a little bit too. Why is it telling us about that? Oh, we can, so we can pick up the mud blocks and we can get mud balls. What do we use the mud balls for? <laughs> we can make armor with it, okay. Not gonna do that. Oh, we can smelt it into bricks. And we can use the bricks to make mud bricks. And we can use that to make decorative blocks. Why? Oh, with the extractor, we can get clay from it. Okay. Okay, well, that's not really, that's a that's a side quest. The important ones are the ones that have little decorative things on the corners. Some of, it, some of the connections we don't see yet because I have a few modes turned off. But eventually we'll need the extractor for uh, making rubber. But the key thing is steel. We got one of eight. <laughs> um, one of the things I was doing, uh, like I mentioned at the beginning of the stream, was getting some food stuff set up. And I made a berry medley because it just needs some berries that we already had growing uh, and some wood a knife to make a bowl from some logs. So that's easy enough. Um, so I completed this, all right. Yeah, I completed it. So now I'm gonna claim it just to, just to do it. Um, maybe. Well, I clicked the button. At some point it's gonna realize that I did click the button and give me stuff. Oh, there we are. <laughs> Some coins and a loot bags. Uh, the berries, I think we have all of these berries already, right? Raspberry, malberry, blackberry, and blueberry. Weren't those required? I guess the blueberry wasn't required. Maybe we're not growing blueberries. Let's check on that, since we're waiting for the steel to be made anyway. I wonder if there's a way to see 
Like we're making pollution right now actively through all these machines and the new furnace. We're making pollution. Is there a way to see pollution? Maybe an F3? Ba -ba -ba. Saturation. If there is, I don't see it. Okay, well, anyway. It's probably fine. <laughs> I believe at some point pollution could get so bad that we'll have to make some special gear to be able just to survive <laughs> in it. Oh no. Uh, well, rip me. It's time. It's time to get to the escape room. Or no, the... the um, what's the opposite of that? <laughs> yep, exactly, Foxy. Exactly. Uh, we need a block. There. Learned our lesson from last time. <laughs> Hide away. So. It would be hilarious if a chicken spawned and we have a chicken companion down here with us. Alright, so. Uh, this is our life for a little bit. Until the blood moon is over. We had some food though. It's good. So, how are we doing? We got a little over an hour left for the stream today. Something I hadn't considered is how uh, starting <laughs> on the half hour um, makes the schedule a little awkward, the kind of the timing. Oh, here's Spider. Mm. Yeah, no, I saw you and Lady G on your, um, whatchamacallit, IRL stream. Looked like you were having fun in that, uh, how would you even describe it? In the gas station. Yeah, in, in, in the gas station. <laughs> uh huh can i can i see here if i if i've eaten a blueberry yeah i've eaten a blueberry okay so we probably have grown them okay. yep had a blast through the gas station <laughs> Hiding away. I guess now we can do the quests some more. There are still some quests that I've not completed here in uh, in the beginning chapter. There's still like uh, weapons and shields and stuff that I never bothered doing. Uh, making stairs. I never made eight stone stairs apparently. Ooh, we could have had a stack of ladders this whole time. What have I been doing? And a food that I've not eaten yet. Hey, can I can I bookmark? Uh, no. Yeah. Bucky's is iconic. I've been to Texas, but not since I was a kid. So if we have quicksand, we can get some torches. It's not craftable, so we just have to find it. Bamboo. You get some more bamboo saplings and fungi sticks. Uh, if I was willing to submit ten oak wood, I could get some bone meal. Interesting. So these are things that I just skipped over, but we could do. Uh, interesting. I've had a cup of tea. I've not had raisins. We could have had salt and butter. We could have made cheese uh, with the salt. Something else with the butter. Oh well. Uh, at some point, I need to remember to come back and <laughs> do some of those things. Or we'll make butter. We have cows. Stone Age. There's some. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. So we have this thing that we completed. 
I'm not gonna take the rewards yet for the the loot games one. Uh, and then I completed this at some point by making all the different kinds of uh, like cactus charcoal and stuff. But again, I'm not gonna compl uh, claim because I don't want to clog up my inventory. There is still some more stuff. Oh yeah, so uh, with Tinker's Construct, there's a, a thing called a ball of moss that you can put on a tool. It's uh, kind of locked behind other mods in this pack. So this is just telling you that you can't just make it the easy way. Um, I mean, I guess I could take the beer. Yay. There we go. So we are we are uh, we're nauseous <laughs> on the blood moon. Any other effects if I drink too? No. Hey, look, I got some glass bottles. How do you make glass bottles? Um, you can use a bottle mold. <laughs> you can, uh, yeah, use a bottle mold. Yeah. I don't think there is a um, like a glass blowing a blowing mechanism in uh, in this pack. There is a fluid canner. You can empty glass bottles. You can extrude a bottle with the extruder shape for a bottle and glass dust. Ooh, forming press with again a a, a bottle mold. So all the molds that you see here are things that you have to have steel. You have to have molten steel to cast. I guess if you have one, you can duplicate it with an empty shape plate. Cool. Uh, yeah, still nighttime. We'll still have to fight mobs once the night's over, but at least the, the sunlight will get rid of some of them. Um, there's probably things that... Ooh, we can make a glass goblet. Just thinking of things now that we have some bottles. Maybe we can make something. We can make a oak potion shelf. Yeah, some furniture. Experience table. Okay, that's not happening. Phantom ink, firefly jar, a blood orange. Oh, we can make orange juice. We can make an empty jar from Biomes of Plenty, or a glass vial for Thomcraft. So, what can you do with the empty jar? You can put poison ivy in it and make poison extract jar, or you can convert it back to a glass bottle. Okay, cool. Still night. And to think, I was complaining about the fact that the game was not paused when you have the quest book open like this. That's very convenient. It gives us something to do. Uh, Steam age-wise, a lot of what we're focused on right now is getting that steel. Uh, which should still be going, right? Because it's chunk-loaded over in the other base. Um, and then we can look at doing upgrading our tools using steel. And the big thing for like exploration and kind of next steps is flint and steel to be able to make another portal and go to the nether and molds and I think this is like a filing cabinet um, we can also make an anvil now that we have the compressor it's a little bit more complicated than just some iron blocks we also need some screws and plates, but that's not a big deal. We can probably make that next. Since we're prob probably still going to be waiting a little bit for um, um, steel to be made. Hmm. Well, it's almost eight time. I think it's 6 a.m. Oh, no. 5.30 something? There we go. Zombies burning. We did it. Almost. Except for the part where we have to get out 
<laughs> and survive. Um, I mean, the, the inside. Just check your watch. Uh, there is actually a watch. A clock. From vanilla Minecraft. Although, of course, like everything else, it's more complicated to make. And of course, there is a there's time up here too. And it conveniently tells us it's uh it's day. All right, so we're gonna break out. the The house should be safe because I re did remember to block the the door. Uh, I guess one more thing that occurs to me that is different now is um, I did add some more drawers in here to store food items. So we got all sorts of things that used to be in here and in chest outside. There's still chest outside and st still stuff in this chest, but the the things that we had more of, like the, the wheat and the onions and corn and okra and you know all this stuff, uh, ginger and uh, coffee beans <laughs> are all in there. Uh, okay, so now I guess we gotta deal with the mobs, like the spiders. All right, who's out here? Anyone wanna, wanna come over here? Oh, that, that's probably bad news, this creeper. So as long as I break line of sight, he shouldn't explode. I, I, could, I didn't catch what the tooltip said for the kind of creeper that is, and I am afraid. Alright, I think he's down. Yeah. Oh, we got a creeper head. That's nice. Uh, I guess nothing to do but to break the block. There is a zombie coming. I'm gonna we're not. <laughs> I'm gonna run this way. Oh no, that is a bad idea. I'm gonna run this way. Baby zombie. I've not seen a baby zombie in this pack. At least it's like a vanilla baby zombie. Yes, it is. Yeah, real cute. Uh, you know, it occurs to me, hey, there's a cat. Why is there a cat here? Uh, it occurs to me that um, I have not made any kind of ranged weapon. There is stuff in the quest book, actually for making like a bow or a crossbow. And we should do that at some point. Um, so are you really a cat or is this a trap? You are a wither cat. I'm afraid. <laughs> Why? Also the skeleton. I don't know. I don't know what it means. Wow. Okay, bye. The skeleton has automatic, uh, <laughs> automatic bow. So, imagine if I didn't get underground and get hidden away and was trying to fight stuff. <laughs> no, but I don't. I don't know what a wither cat is. I don't. I don't know. I have no no clue. Um, so I don't know if that, if it's just waiting for its moment and it's going to wither me <laughs> or, uh, or what? I do want to get rid of these mobs though, as many as I can, um, just for the ones that may not despawn. Especially the, uh, the spiders that... Yeah, I got the ghost. I didn't get to activize them. And inventory's full. It's a problem. Okay. Skeleton see me. Alright, I'm gonna run to the other base. Maybe the other stuff will despawn. If I'm further away. I don't know.
Hmm. We. I think I, I I like how that sometimes the the um, brownstone road slabs just kind of like randomly throw you places. <laughs> it's like oh no, you go this way. At like a diagonal. <laughs> Uh, all right, so just gonna throw stuff willy nilly uh, into there. Again, we do need to do some kind of. I guess a thing we could do, if we did use this whole chunk and do like set up a base, is uh. Oh, why is the music not going? Oh, I see. That was the end of the track. Okay. Um, is make like a big room just filled with drawers. And just like every every kind of item would have a place. <laughs> that that is a thing we could do. There we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Now we need two more. <laughs> two more steel to complete the quest. Alright, this is feeling doable. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, I was gonna make some anvils. So the blocks of iron we can make. You can't uh, just craft iron together like you can in vanilla. You need to use the compressor to compress nine iron into a block. And we need 10 blocks, so we need 90 iron. Hmm, why? Why is it not going into my hands? Is it... Ah, because it's glitched. <laughs> That's why. Uh, let's start with that amount. So the compressor... will compress. <laughs> uh, and it's gonna throw everything into here. Alright, so we can just put more iron ingots there. And eventually we'll get some uh, iron blocks here. Uh, what else did we need? We needed some iron plates. We have six, so that's more than four. And we need some iron screws. Iron screws are iron bolts, which are iron rods, which are iron ingots. So one iron ingot makes one iron screw. We need four screws, so we need four iron. Uh, and a file to file it into rods. And then a saw iron bolts. And then I think it's a hammer. Nope. It's a file again, I think. Yeah. It, it's, uh, it's a perfectly valid <laughs> recipe. Uh, all right. So we got the iron screws. Uh, one, two, three, four iron plates. Right. So that that's enough for two anvils. And we get a block of iron back, and a piston, and some coins. All good things. Alright, there's two. Alright. Awesome. Okay. Three. Oh yeah, we're going to ten. So this is, that, that's going to be a minute. How's the steel coming? We got another one. One more to go. So this is like three minutes or four minutes. I think it's, how long is it? Is it 240 seconds? So that'd be four minutes, right? Two hundred forty seconds. Sixty, hundred twenty, two hundred four, four, four minutes per steel ingot. So these might actually finish. Um, okay, that was a quest. <laughs> what quest was that? Uh, the iron guy. Oh, this one here. Do you feel lonely? Need some extra protection in your base? Want to keep the pigment off your back in the Nether? Craft some iron golems, and the monster problem inside your base will be gone. They can do good amounts of damage and aggro enemies like the pigment away from you, or they can even take care of the pesky vampire pigment. Also, there are there are vampire pigment. 
Uh, anyway, so if we, uh, well, we just had to have these things in our inventory at some point, and we get this. Uh, do we want a loot bag or nine iron? I'll take the loot bag. We did it. Okay, cool. Oh, and it's almost nighttime. Six out of ten. Thirty-one, thirty-two, nighttime. Yeah, see that red text? <laughs> well, if you saw it, uh, yeah, there you go. You don't feel feel tired right now. That was the message. That's the message you get when it's a blood moon and you're not, you can't sleep. But we survived. And maybe those other mobs will just despawn since they're over over there, far away from us. Oh, well, yeah, I got speed too. <laughs> I'm very fast right now. Whee. Okay, anyway. Oh, almost done. What's gonna be done first? Our 10 iron blocks or... Hmm? Again, probably about the same time. Now... Can we, can we just put charcoal in here? No, it has to be like coal to make uh, coal coke. Um, was there something else that we made that was good for that? Hmm. Didn't I make something with cactus? Where did that go? There it is. Cactus Coke. Can we use Cactus Coke? In the primitive primitive blast furnace. With iron. Can we make steel with it? Uh no. We can do like banded iron dust to get two to three. That's that's another thing with the uh, the blast furnace. There are certain things that we'll be able to like process some of the ores that we mine up and we'll get more efficient. Um, processing. Uh, but yeah, okay. So, iron blocks. There we go, 11. Okay, that's fine. We can make a few more. Uh, so, we were making two anvils, right? One and two. We did it! Now, these blocks of iron, we cannot craft them back. Is there is there a way to go back to ingots? Ooh. So when we get to Planet Under 2, you know, in a couple hundred hours, <laughs> we'll be able to use it. Metal former block cutting machine. We can cut a block into nine iron plates. That's probably, I don't even know. Oh, that's not even craftable, that block cutting machine. We can melt it. Okay, anyway, that's a thing that will exist. Uh, so we did this uh, with the anvil, just like in vanilla, you can repair, rename, and enchant armor and tools. So we get uh, all of these things. Which is great, we can put this piston back here. And then if we go down, we should be able to collect our eighth steel ingot to complete the blast off quest, which was the, the main objective for today's stream. Uh, since that is going to let us, do I have view mode turned? Oh, it is, okay, yeah, great, great, great. So there we go, we've completed blast off. We can take five iron ore or a loot bag. I'm gonna take the loot bag. Five iron ore is not special. That's like a few seconds of mining in, a, in the right vein. And now we can properly see all these additional quests here leading to steam tier multi-block processing. 
uh, storage, upgrading drawers, uh, keys for drawers are really great. Um, like when I, when I took that piston out, um, what's really nice is if you have the drawer locked, it will remember that the piston was there and even when you take it out so that you can then like click in stuff. Uh, like if you had all these drawers filled with items and you had them all locked, you could pull all the items out and it would still remember what was in there. So it wouldn't let you put anything else in there besides that kind of item, which is great for inventory management. Uh, what did we get? Breaded pork chop. We've not eaten this. Uh, it's got protein. Uh, so this, I should eat this next. Anyway, let's put, put away those coins. They occupy a lot of inventory slots. Um, there we go. And loot bag. We're up to 14 Steam Age loot bags. We could open them. Oh, I got a, another block of iron. Might be able to do something with that. I've not looked at all the recipes that use it. Um, what did we need the anvils for? Oh, yes. The Steam Forge Hammer. Uh, which I guess didn't need steel. We should have made this because using six ingots to craft a hammer seems pretty wasteful. As this tool has durability, uh, how nice would it be to have a machine that does the same without having durability and using three ingots to make two plates. So instead of four, pl uh, four ingots to make two plates, three ingots to make two plates. And here it is, the Steam Forge Hammer. So it's another thing where we did not did need an anvil, but fortunately we just made two. Mm, excuse me. We need uh, a piston, we got that, and some bronze fluid pipes, which will be cheaper to do once we make this machine because it'll be able to stamp plates for us. Um, and this is the point where we kind of are running out of space for machines, let alone really producing enough steam to operate everything. Take the iron out, we're not using that there. Uh, I think I'll put the iron blocks up here with the other iron things, there we go. So, yeah. We should do this soon. We can also look at flint and steel. So after you make steel, you're able to craft flint and steel. I guess you'll want to travel to the nether as soon as possible, but be aware that the nether is a very dangerous place. Uh, the ball of moss gives a tinker's tool self-repair, but if the tool is completely broken, it won't repair it. Know that the flint and steel can take a few times to work. So what's nice is we can get 16 obsidian. Should be very helpful. We also get bow and arrows and a ball of moss. This is a really good reward for making these things. It's a lot of things though. So steel rods we can make with the file. Okay. Three and the steel plate is um I mean I guess we should really make the um the forge hammer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think so. Um we don't need these other tools right now, so I think what I'm gonna do where's my wrench? There it is. Let's uh collect up these things and it's gone there it is um, and we will put them right here so I think kind of next steps for <laughs> this this workshop will be to expand it out and figure out how to like uh, tank steam and get all the machines set up and operating. That'll be a thing to do. Uh, maybe not right now, but at some point. So we should make the forge hammer. Steam forge hammer. All right, so we need a bronze hull. So we need bronze and bronze. Like eight for that. And then we need six, um, 12, all oh, right bronze plates. So actually what we need is we need <laughs> six plates plus 
eight plates, 14 plates, 28, 28 bronze. If we had the forge hammer, it would be cheaper. 28. That's why we should make it next before we, you know, waste any more extra materials on making plates the, uh, the expensive way, the hammer. There we go. All right, so let's make six pipes, and then let's make the bronze hull. There we go, and then let's grab a piston. Uh, I'll keep the sticky piston around in case I need that. Since I don't really, I don't know if I have any slime balls anywhere. There we go. All right, so there we go. Steam forge hammer. So that completed this quest, and we get some iron. Why not? And we'll put this right here. Get that hooked up to the steam with the wrench. Just about to go out. Oh, uh, nighttime, sleep. Must sleep the night away. Okay, so now we have a steam forge hammer. Uh, and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take three steel ingots. And this is gonna make two plates, right? That's the deal. I hope that's true. Yeah. Two steel plates. Awesome. Now, I am concerned that we may not have enough steel. <laughs> I guess we're making, we are making more steel, right, down there. So, uh, that's fine. That could be a concern, though. All right, so, um, going back to the quest, we're, we're focusing on flint and steel. I want to see what's inside the nether. That would be really cool. Uh, so, we got the steel plate. We need steel rods. These are just, like, iron rods where we're going to put was three, right? And we just gotta file it. All right. Uh, and then a flint, we got flint. We have some flint, I guess we've gone through a lot, making drawers and stuff. Uh, and then I don't need, at some point we'll make the work table because I think it'll be helpful for <laughs> things. Uh, okay, and then we need to make a, st a small steel spring Okay, so bookmark that. One of those and a small steel gear. So we should have all the materials to make those things. Ta-da. And the other one. Ta-da. And then flint and steel has 64 durability on it. There we go. Behold. So, something else that I saw the other day, there is a way to see, um, I guess we could probably see game time played here. Hmm, did we see that here? There was something, this is not the thing I saw. Um, is it, no. There was a thing where you could see, ah, leaderboards, here we go. Minutes played, 76 hours. Okay, that's less than I thought. <laughs> 76 hours to make a flint and steel. It's great, huh? All right, so that completes this quest. We're gonna take the obsidian because I don't have a bunch of obsidian. And yeah, yeah, we could, you know, haul lava up and stuff, but that's, I, I'd rather save a little bit of time for the purposes of the stream so we can move forward. Uh, and we got, we got a bow and arrows. Now this is not like a tinker's thing. There are tinkers like bows and crossbows, at least crossbows. And we should make that. But uh, yeah, so let's put away Do we have, we have another chest. Okay, good. <laughs> Let's put stuff away that we um, don't need to carry around with us. 
We will use the ball and moss. I'm going to have to think about where we want to put that. Probably the pickaxe. But it's it's worth thinking about. I don't know that we need 16 obsidian. We should be able to use the, the cheap route. I don't need to have these tools on me. That should be fine. Or really the backpacks right now. I just want to do a little exploratory... Hey, there's the nether <laughs> kind of thing. On the other hand, I'm afraid of being stuck for a while. <laughs> uh, speaking of which, let's grab some blocks. That should be fine. All right, so where are we going to put the portal? Um... I'm arbitrarily just going to put it here. Two, three. And might as well use cobblestone. For the corners. And we get some free obsidian. Assuming that this does work, unless they've changed it. All right. <laughs> Aha! It did work. Alright. Now... I'm scared. <laughs> Ooh, I got another heart. Alright, I'm, I'm incrementally less scared. Uh, let's keep blocks on the heart, hot bar. Heart bar? Hot, hot bar? Well, shall we go in? This is not something I was planning on doing today, but hey, you know, it's the next natural thing after uh, uh, making steel. You've been wanting to play portals again, like Portal 1, Portal 2, or something else. I don't think I've actually... Has anyone else experienced the thing where you've watched a game being played enough that you can't remember if you've played it or not? Or is that just a, a me thing? <laughs> Alright, are we going to instantly die? We're downloading terrain from the computer. Alright, we are in an enclosed space. That is good. I like how we have a bubble of protection around us coming in. That's good. Hey look, we went to the nether. We did it. Get some small nether quartz ore. Yeah, so it is veins of ore, just like in the overworld. Like there's a small emerald ore. Yeah, some glowstone here. Um, is this, does this go places? Maybe, so I'm gonna close this all in. I'm gonna close it in. Because the nether is dark and full of terrors. That should be good, unless there's flying stuff. <laughs> oh, hey, look. Here is a zombie pigman. I'm sure he won't hurt us at all. All right, so, like, I'm, I'm scared of, like, breaking anything and then like the zombie piglin or something else is gonna attack me among other things also <laughs> I was concerned for a second because up here it said night but it's 3 14 3 15 p.m. and it's night so yep what is this this is a glow flower so we could potentially grow glowstone all right so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna break this Are you angry? I think you might be angry. All right, well, do I need the glowstone right now? Probably not. Uh, it's fine, I'll enjoy it. Oh, 
Okay, well, we went to the nether. Let's get out of here before it's night in the overworld. Presumably, this, the time is the same. Uh, and loading. All right, cool. We did it. All right. So, uh, I don't even know. I mean, I don't think these are things we need right now. <laughs> Honestly, uh, it's just kind of like a, an opportunity there. We will need to go back to the nether and do some mining for like sulfur. The glow flower seed is interesting. Presumably we can plant that and grow things. Okay, don't know. Let's throw it in random chest. Let me get my normal stuff I carry around back. There we go. All right. Now I have an extra thing to carry around with me. Great. All right. So, and we don't need that obsidian right now. I'll stick it right there. So that gets us to this quest. We found the nether. Hey, look, we get armor. <laughs> and another flint and steel or a lava crystal is a tool modifier that auto smelts or spawn a snow golem or ice golem, uh, iron golem or a loot bag. I mean, I guess like the other quest said, you could have the iron golem for defense. The snow golem is interesting. If you wanted a bunch of snow, you could have a renewable source. Um, I don't know. I think I think I'll think about this a little bit before I, I claim the quest. One of the nice things is you you can just keep proceed. You don't have to like claim it in order to be able to look at the next thing. So the next thing is the thing that I will probably do between streams is that we need sulfur ore. So we need raw rubber and sulfur. Finding a sulfur vein in the Nether seems like a good idea. No, <laughs> but I think that's where we have to go and do and be. Um, so there should be a vein. All right. Uh, definitely should have slept before then. All right. So I know it's a little early, but we kind of have done all the things set out to do for the stream today. And I think this is kind of a good point to just like stop uh, and, you know, Gonna need to do a little resource gathering and stuff. So I think we're gonna we're gonna stop the stream here for today. Boo, yeah. I mean, honestly, it's either that or I could go for another half hour after a break or another hour, but I don't wanna go for another hour. I know, sorry. Uh, can we raid someone? Can we do a little raid? <laughs> 